Welcome back, mathematicians, and it's time for Math with Ms. Carter. Yesterday, we started a new strategy doing subtraction and borrowing from our tens column. Today, I wanted to show you guys that we're using picture representation, so it's a little bit easier to see. So, if we remember from when we first started place value, we had our unit blocks or our rods and our unit cubes. So, this is equal to 10 of these. So this is one group of 10, and this is just one, okay? Well, today, I couldn't show you exactly what you needed to see using these, so I'm gonna take my time and draw it out on my dry erase board so that hopefully you can visualize this better with me. Our first problem for today is 64 minus 28. And what we'll do for subtraction purposes, we're just gonna draw the 60. Four, okay, so each one of my long lines is equal to 10 and each one of the little dots is just equal to one cube instead of me trying to draw all these cubes so we can quickly get through it. So the problem is 64 through 28. Now if this was addition, I will write the 64 and the 28 and then add them together, but this is subtraction. So I'm not going to draw the 68 because I want to take that away. But remember, we've got to borrow because our problem, if we put it on top of each other, which is vertically, it will look like this, 64 minus 28. And remember yesterday I told you, if the number on top is smaller than, than the number on the bottom, then we need to go next door and borrow one more. So if our number on the ones column is smaller than the number on the bottom in the ones column, we need to borrow one from the next door number. Is our number on the bottom bigger or smaller? It's bigger. So we need to take one away from our six and add it back to our four. But here's our picture representation of 64. And so I'm gonna show you what that would look like when we borrow 64. Minus 28, right? So what happens is I take this away and it's no longer a unit cube, a, a unit rod. It turns into two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It turns into ten ones. Instead of one group of 10, it turns into 10 ones. So now we have five over here, five groups of 10, and 14 ones. And that's easier to subtract with. So now I have that, and I need to take away 28. I can easily see if I take away 28 now, I would be taking away one, two, and then I want to count out eight of my dots and see what I have left. So this is one and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight. And then I can count to see what I have left. So 64 minus 28 would be 10, 20, 30. And then we switch count, 31, 32, 3, 34, 35, 36. That answer will be 36. So if we did it again and put our 64 minus 28 and did the way that we worked out yesterday, it goes the same way. This turns into a 5 and that turns into 14, kind of like our 14 dots that we had here. And then we just subtract. 14 minus 8 gives us our 6 and 5 minus 2 gives us our 3. So either way, we have 36, 36. That's a good way to check your work. So you can draw it out in the picture form because we learned that pictures also represent numbers. So we want to use those when we're trying to do our math. Our next problem is 32 minus 27. And so I'm going to do that the same way. I'm going to write it vertically. And I'm also going to write 
and show our picture form in base 10, okay? So I'm not going to write the 27. I'm only going to show the 32. This time I'm going to make my dots a bit bigger so you guys can see them, okay? So now I have 32, but I need to take away 27. Now when I look, is my number on top in the ones column bigger or smaller? Can two take away seven? I only have two. Can I take away seven? No. So I need to go next door and borrow one more. Which means that in my picture, this is my tens column. Let me separate this. So even if it was in a place value chart, you could see. And hopefully this extra line will confuse you. So I'm just going to put tens and ones. These are tens. These are ones. Still 32. Now I'm going to take away one group of 10 and add it over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. We just took one from over there and added 10 dots over here. Still the same number. If I add it up, it's still 32. It's just shown with more ones, okay? I haven't grouped my ones into a 10 yet, okay? So now that changes this number to be in a 2 and that to be in a 12. Just like this. This is a 2. This is a 2. This becomes 12. This becomes 12. And then we just do our subtraction. So 12 minus 7 equals exactly 5. And 2 minus 2 equals 0. Correct. So... That one was a pretty simple one, okay? The next problem that we're going to do today is 75 minus 26. And I know you're thinking, Miss Carter, that's a lot to draw out. But when I'm drawing it in my base two format, it's not so bad. So, once again, I'm gonna draw my tens first. And then I'm going to draw my one. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. And I drew mine a little differently this time just to save some space, okay? One, two, three, four, five. All right. So now... You can see that I have my 75, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. I drew a squiggly line in the middle so you wouldn't confuse it for one of the tens. And then I have one, two, three, four, five dots. So now I need to take away 26, but my number and my ones column is bigger on the bottom. So that means I need to go next door and borrow one more, which means I'm taking away one of my tens. Just one, so that seven is now gonna be a, a six. And that five, it now turns into a 15. So I'm gonna show that on this with my base 10 by taking away one of those and adding one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 dots there. Took away 10, I added 10. Same number. If I were to count this out again, it was still added to 75. I'm just showing it differently. I'm representing it differently. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75. Same number. And now we can subtract. So now I have 15 minus 6. Well, how can I do that? Well, first I can do it over here and just say, okay, we'll take away 6. Boop. That's simple. Erase. How many do I have left? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I'm going to put that 9 in my 1's column. And then I'm going to subtract my from my 10's. Well, I have six, and I need to take away two. Boop, boop. 
What do I have left? Four. So 75 minus 26 equals 49. One, two, three, four, and nine ones. I hope that you guys could see that, okay? I'm gonna work on this again with you tomorrow, practicing using our base 10, and hopefully you'll see it a little bit better, okay? And I want you guys, when you're doing your work today, in your independent time, to use this format. Let me see you draw it out. Let me see your base 10, okay? Now, if you like, you can draw just the one line like I did in one little dot instead of trying to draw 10 little cubes. I know that's a lot. Or you can just draw a skinny little rectangle and I'll know, oh, that's their 10s. And a small little cube and I'll know that's your ones, okay? But they can look this way or this way. Either one is fine. As long as it's clear and I can see it. So today, in your independent time, I want you to work on the numbers 76 minus 49, 85 minus 19, 51 minus 48, and 62 minus 46. I'll put this in your slides, and I know you guys are going to do great. Keep working, and thank you for checking in for Math with Ms. Carter. Bye. See you soon.